So now Russia is using cruise missiles in Syria. Not from close by, but apparently the cruise missiles were launched from the Caspian Sea, flying over Iran and Iraq with permission and impacting into Syria. Now when it first happened, I heard analysts in the U.S. Uh, questioning, why would Russia use cruise missiles? I mean, that's the kind of weapons you use in a uh, war theater like this. But don't forget that when the U.S. and coalition attacked Libya some years ago, the first thing they did, even before the military planes came in, is they fired well over 100 cruise missiles from the Mediterranean aimed at Libya. So now Russia is doing it. It's a great way for Russia to showcase its state-of-the-art military equipment, from the fighter planes, bombers, helicopters to cruise missiles. So yesterday, the story came out that four of the 26 cruise missiles launched didn't get to their target. They crashed into Iran. And right away, I could smell a rat. I mean, you don't have to be a rocket scientist. And just like this RT article says, I became one of the many readers who started trolling the internet to see what I could find about these sources and allegations. And uh, I'm just really amazed. The thing is that with the internet, we can all get good information. A few minutes ago, I saw a story on uh, Google News, and uh, I took a look at it. I couldn't believe what I saw, and then I left. And after thinking about it some more, I decided to come back and make a video to demonstrate what is happening with news organizations. Reports. Four Russian missiles miss Syrian target, hit Iran. Four Russian cruise missiles launched from the Caspian Sea missed their Syrian targets Thursday and landed in Iran. Fox News and CNN reported, citing unnamed U.S. sources. The story is being carried by the New York Times, CNN, and USA Today. So when I came first time, what I did, and I'm doing it following through, is I clicked on the uh, USA Today story. There it is. Four Russian missiles missed Syrian targets hit Iran. Big headline. And it goes on again with the unnamed U.S. officials. And the story appar apparently is not being collaborated. Of course, you know, the Russians are lying. So Russia is saying, no, it's not real. And neither is Iran. But apparently the story, and it says, the official Islamic Republic news agency reported the crash. And that is highlighted in blue, so you can uh, click to see the source. Well, what is the source of this? The web page is not available. The web page is not available. What the heck is going on there? How can that be? Maybe it's just a mistake. Let's do it again. Reported. Still not available. Holy smokes. So what happened here? Well, let's take a look and uh, Google this Islamic Republic news agency that apparently reported this. Because, you know, today we can do this. We can do our own investigation. So I'm clicking Google. There it is. And now I'm going to put it in there. Control V. And... Click it on. Let's see what comes up. Okay, there's all the sites. And I'll click it on. Islamic Republic News Agency is an official Iranian site. Iran condemns today's attacks of Saudi Arabia against Yemen. Oh, yeah, by the way, did you hear about that? More uh, people at a wedding party were killed by Saudi airstrikes. Uh, they've been... Saudi must clarify fate of missing pilgrims. Anyway, I'll put you out of the misery. I looked through all the articles. As a matter of fact, I even went to politics and uh, see if somewhere there's any mention of what's happening uh, about this so-called uh, missile crash in Iran from uh, the Caspian Sea that Russia shot. There's not a mention of anything like that to be found anywhere. I, you, you can do the Googling yourself. Russia helps fighting terrorists in Syria. Pakistan supports Assad. Pack new envoy to Syria. Pakistan is sending a new envoy to Syria. 
Iran welcomes German partnership with Iranian companies. German foreign minister to visit Iran October 17th. But there's no mention. And you'd think it would be big news uh, had the missiles landed in Iran. I mean, man, how could they miss something like that? But, as I said, if you go to uh, Google News, you still find it, find it. They're talking about it. And then, what I did, I'm going to close that one out. Go back to Google News and click on CNN. CNN, several Russian cruise missile fire, missiles fired from the Caspian Sea aimed at targets in western Syria have crash landed in Iran. Specifically, we're being told uh, that it was four of them. They never made it over Iran to Syria. It's not clear where they landed in Iran or if anyone was hurt. Joining me now, Jill Doherty, former CNN Moscow bureau chief who has uh, extensive knowledge on Putin and his thinking here. First, your reaction to this, the fact that it, it appears, according to two top U.S. officials, these missiles didn't make it, they landed in Iran. Well, I think, number one, you have to look at those reports and ask whether they are uh, correct. We have to find out. I don't see anyone on the record making that statement, so um, it would be good to look, I think, for some confirmation. Uh, if it is true, and again, that's a big if, uh, it, it would be very significant. After all, the Russians have been touting the accuracy of their weapons. That was one very big thing that President Putin was talking about with his defense minister. And then also just the implications of what could happen if missiles like that go astray in some country. Apparently, uh, according to these unconfirmed reports, landing in Iran, crashing in Iran, what if it had hit uh, some populated area. So there are a lot of concerns about this. Just have to see, Poppy, I think, how it plays out. So there you have the story. And uh, like I said, I couldn't believe it. But at the same time, I also understand that uh, the government's military have been using propaganda forever. Uh, but when they use it on their own people to get uh, support for uh, possibly illegal or unjust actions, it, it's really troublesome, and uh, it kind of reminds me of the lead-up to Vietnam and Bay of Tonkin. Uh, there's just so many examples of this already exist. As a matter of fact, uh, if you can look back onto what happened in the lead-up to the first uh, war with uh, Iraq and Saddam Hussein, stories emerged that uh, Iraqi soldiers were in Kuwait taking babies out of incubators and uh, these poor babies were dying on the cold concrete floor and it was all a marketing company's idea to get Americans on board for an illegal war. It was investigated by the U.S. government long after it, the war started and uh, like I said, you can't trust your own c government, your own country, your own military. Then what the hell is the use of having a country just have a friggin dictator and they do what they want and i guess maybe to some extent with the uh, way the elite have taken over that's probably what we have right now and media is part of the circus